So Fraser Hine watches Ian Levine's uh, AI Web of Fear 3 Part 3 today at uh, uh, Audio Sirens a- uh, event in Melbourne. That I found fascinating, and he, and he liked it a lot, right? He liked it a lot because it was very good. Now, I, I, I'm allowed to show, show you bits of it, but I want to show it to you compared to the uh, the official BBC version, which is... Oh, so bad, right? It's so, I mean, it's just such an incredible failure, right? Uh, such a failure. Um, I, I just, I can't understand how it was released. It, it's, I mean, look, you know the way we looked at Jody scripts and said, uh, uh, these things just aren't professional. Like, like, how on earth are they being released? But And they were released anyway, right? Hang on. It's uh, opening up. So, so, same thing with this. It, so we're looking at Web of Fear. And I'd say Web of Fear, probably one of my favorite Trouton stories. It's 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 way up there. It's but it's really one of the best, right? It's genuinely what uh, uh what one of the best. Should we look at the color one? We'll look at the color one for a, a minute or two as well. Because I, I never watched the color, I only watched the black and white. Although, did they have uh Oh, they don't have channel space in it. Let's get here. This is a fire. So this is a, uh, a quite a good bit. I mean, like... Doctor, is that you? I'm like, why are they walking so weirdly? Oh, no, no. Ah! Victoria. Oh, oh Doctor, my goodness, I found you. I'm all right. Well, I, I, this, yeah, let's look at the black and white one. I, th- I think I'm being unfair. We should look at the black and white one. Share, Share video file. There we go. Doink. Doink. And here, the thing is, there's no... There, there's, there's no facial acting in this or expression, and the movements are just dire. Just look how the bodies move. It's like Grand Theft Auto from 1992. What brought the intelligence back again? Uh, well, it was my wretched curiosity, I'm afraid. You see, oh. when I came back from Tibet, I brought quite a bit of stuff with me, you know. Okay, so that's what they're trying to do. And as you can see, it's a total failure. So I want to show you that when it when, when, it, when I feel it works. And I, that, that, so I'm going to compare it to uh, the Celestial Toy Maker, which was done as a fan thing by Callum Weston. I believe uh, uh, Callum Weston. And there it actually works because Callum Callum knows how to do this essentially. One second, special toy room. Yeah, this is it. The full piece at a time. That is. You see, I mean, do you see how the 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 stillness works a lot better, and the uh, the direction works right. a lot better here. And you must rearrange them in the same order that they are now on point. And uh, I am not permitted. I was forward to like where more things are actually happening. But again, you get some great facial acting from this as well. Which are the quest, quest, what quest? The hunt for the TARDIS. It's all quite simple. You start here, blindfold. You must be joking, kids' game. Stephen, go on. You have to cross. So th- this looks more like rotoscoping for me. It feels like the the animated uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, right? So let's just suppose that with uh, the Ian Levine AI ones. Now, here's the thing: the the only real thought I, I found in the in the Ian Levine version is that the uh, um, it, it looks like like when I was watching it. It looked like. Um, uh, it, it was it, it. It looked like lost footage, right? It looked like you know the the where they where they find the lost footage. You have like the little clips, and I was like, wait, wait, is this lost lost footage or is is this AI? And then it took me a minute to work out. Wait, wait this is AI, right? So I was like, wow, right? One second. Now, the, but where it fails is when they. Uh, I think fail is a strong word. When you put the pieces, there's two things that, that are um, somewhat problematic, I think. When you put two different pieces or like this faux lost footage together, the join is bumpy, right? It, it's not smooth. 
right? Uh, it, it, it's, so there's that. And also there's a couple of times where they're using the same image uh, uh, repeated over a few, was it, a, a few times. Oh, here, that we, this is a scene we just saw, right? Yeah. I think, I think you might you might see the the issue, here. but again, it's really clever because they got they animated uh, uh, Victoria here again, very shaggable as always. Uh, 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 Vic, uh, Victoria Waterfield here, and I think they put it onto a, a they, they had a static background, so it made it work a bit better. Doctor, is that you? Yeah, you see that that joint that that's the joint where it like was. I would say about seventy five percent of it though, perfect. Victoria. Oh, Doctor, my goodness, I'm all right. Well, what, what, what was, what was this? All right, let's move forward to when they're talking to uh, um, Travis. Oh yeah, again, look at look at the, him talk, talk talk to Travis. This is this is extremely extraordinary. Okay. But how? That's what I can't understand. What brought the intelligence back again? Oh, uh, that was my wretched curiosity, I'm afraid. You see, uh, when I came back from Tibet, I brought quite a bit of stuff with me, you know, broken... So this feels like I'm watching the original episode, right? There's none of this weird movements, right? Yeah, that's it. Can I pull up the... Yeah, I think I can, I can pull them both up. I'll put them side by side. Uh, Web of Fear... Uh, three. Yeah, I, I, I could be mean and just put the color one on, which is like way worse, right? Uh, uh, but yeah, I want to give it like the best showing possible because there's no need to be mean about it. So uh, this is how much in now? This is eight minutes thirty-seven in. <laughs> Look, here, compare these two. It's ridiculous. What brought the intelligence back again? Oh, uh, well, it was my wretched curiosity, I'm afraid. You see, uh, when I came back from Tibet, I brought quite a bit of stuff with me, you know, broken yeti bits of control. So it fails in every way, this, right? The, the, the expressions are terrible. The models are terrible. The movement is terrible. Every part of it fails, whereas compared to this... Fears and things like it. Oh, the monks, weren't you too glad to see the back of it? Yeah. Yes, and then, then, my dear fellow, one of the controls. So yeah, you just saw what one, one, one of the cuts that I don't, uh, I, I don't think worked completely. Beers was intact, so naturally I wanted to find out how it worked. Oh dear! And I fiddled with the thing on and off for years, and then one. Right again, again. So I think you could put if you watch Weber Fear, and Weber Fear is genuinely speaking uh, uh, one of the best transfers I've ever seen. Oh yeah, this guy has has as a as a. You know, has has a great moment. Check this out. Right. Sorry about it. Right. Let's get down to some constructive thinking. Ah, Weems. Weems unlocks some information there. No. Again, and he's doing this out of his own pocket. I do think it's a fantastic. This is a service for all Doctor Who fans. In the same way that saving the. Uh, you know, saving the, the, the original stories in, in the 70s was a service for all Doctor Who fandom. And yeah, yeah, where there is room for this to improve, I, there's room for anything to improve, but there, where there is room to the, to, for this to improve, it's... Uh, um, it, it, yeah, wherever we're going with AI, this is a very important stepping stone, right? This is a very, like like... Whatever the future AI will, will bring, it would be impossible if Ian Levine wasn't doing this right now. Yeah, this I find incredible. Look at it. So I guess they generated a Yeti via AI, then animated it, you think? Doctor, sorry to have been so long, but I've got your blowing up thing on me, Jig. Here we are. Good. I mean, do you see what I mean about it? it looks like a bunch of, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, what's the word? Um, 
sensor clips, right? They, they, they cut stuff off for, for it being too, uh, too scary. Fine. This should do the trick. It's both timing and contact. Well, I think Victoria's right. Well, no. So I think you could probably put on Web of Fear, watch episodes one, uh, one through to six, and you wouldn't really notice the bits where it doesn't work, it will just feel like you're watching one seamless story. Right? I, I, I mean, just, again, fantastic. Don't jump for the explosives here, and I'm willing to bet they'll do the same with those at Hoban as well. Maybe. I think you're wasting your time now, Colonel. Yes. Still, at least there's a chance. We must... So, you know, I, I think this is... This definitely strikes me as a wave of the future, right? This, this strikes me as, uh, uh, the you know, the, the way to go. More of this, please. I mean, honestly, if you could marry this with like the um, the Callum Western animation somehow, and I've no idea how, right? I've not, I have no no idea how how how, how to do it. The uh, uh, then I think you'll be in, in in really incredible territory. But I think this is it, like, again, if you want to watch classic Doctor Who, that's uh, uh, that's not here. Right? This this is the way to do it. AI is getting better, says Divine Dragon. By the 2040s, I think they'll be able to do perfect recreations. I think by the 2030s, frankly. Right? I mean, the, this I, I, I can't wait till I can make my own movies and TV shows. For I just saw that Buck Rogers is, is, is out of copyright. Right? I would totally make my, make my, my own Buck Rogers, right? At 100%. Yeah, speaking of AI, check this out. Uh, where is it? Where is it? No, not eating the dogs, which I'm obsessed with. Yeah, this is very cool. So I was cruising down Alpha Centauri in the 6-4 that is my TARDIS when suddenly a temporal rift took hold. And by temporal rift, I'm talking temporal rift. That is to say, tempers got too high in the universe and we all got to squeezing gats like maniacs. I looked in the mirror like fucking hell, what's become of me? I'm basically a Dalek now, just a bit better looking if you catch my stellar drift. This is what the life does to you, and I'm only 750 years old. Full blown. I mean, this is just bonkers. And quarter life time crisis. And then bang, this huge wormhole appeared and sucked me in like a Henry Hoover that I couldn't outmaneuver. Was twisting and turning and rumbling and tumbling. Cloister Bell was hollering and I couldn't clock for what. I had so again, I, look, this is an experiment and it's um, not very Doctor who -y, But like, it's going to, by the way, do I still have the the five Doctors the with, uh, uh, what's his name? Or did, I, did I get rid of that clip? Because I didn't think it was very good. Because they they have the yeah. Let me try and find it. Ah, I've got a YouTube. Because they they have the five doctors and somebody face swapped uh, William Hartnell onto Richard Richard Handel. And I watched it. And I was like, eh, it 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 doesn't really look that good, right? Frankly. Uh, uh, but then somebody told me, no, watch the end of it, right? And uh, uh, that's it. Let me just do a search. William Hartnell. Oh, wow, well, search web history. William Hartnell. Let's have a look. Am I spelling it right? There you go. Fine, I'll go download it again. Because I watched like the beginning of it. I was like, ah, it's disappointing because it's not as good as I wanted it to be. Right? And I really wanted it to be better. Here, let me pull it up. There you go. So I'm going to start later on in this clip. What you can do would stump me, do you? Let's have a look. What's this? So that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, that's working. Although, you won't be cool Do, doing this with Peter Cushing's. <laughs> I never dreamed. It changes nothing. Absolutely nothing. We know. Mm, I mean, it's not great. It's still, it's, st it's still not great. And honestly, the the, the, the AI voice that they're, they're, they're doing with this, I know how to do it better, right? They've taken voice samples from William Hartnell, uh, and they should have cleaned them up using AI before they fed them into the the clo the voice cloning generator thing, right? But at least this looks. Uh... The force field, get the young fellow back from Gallifrey of all go home. This doesn't concern us. It mustn't. Do not transmit further. Stay. No, yeah, no, it's totally getting better now. Look at this. Stay where you are and touch nothing. Touch nothing, indeed. Who does he think he is? He didn't want us to mention the ring of Brasilon. Natural enough. That's perfect. Okay, Th that's uh, that's really perfect. Something's wrong, you know. You haven't changed. Still finding menace in your own shadow. I feel the shame. Well, we shall soon see, won't we? <coughs> He's after the Ring of Rassilon. He wants immortality. And you were the one who didn't sense anything was wrong. He's a renegade. It, it, oh, man, that voice is really throwing me off. 
No better than that film down there. We can't allow it, you know. The tomb was sealed for the best of reasons. And as soon as we're back to our own time streams, it must be sealed again. Oh, just clean up the voice before you before you generated it. I know exactly what they did wrong. Permanently. Doctor. Although he does look better than he did in Three Doctors. <laughs> we need you. <clears throat> Join us. He can't. Some kind of mind lock. Fight it, my boy, fight it. Concentrate. They got to be worth cleaning up that AI, making it better. We must be one. Because the visuals right now are perfect. Was forward to see something actually happening. Yeah, that was the voice in Rasselon. It's out of our hands now. These are my servants. Is it so? Uh, the uh, um, the special edition they did for the season twenty Blu-ray release. Uh, way better. <laughs> it most certainly is not. Don't believe him. It's nonsense. Don't listen to them, Lord Rasselon. President Barroso speaks the truth. You believe that. So uh, this has always been my hard on to get her uh, to make me uh, re reconstructions. What AI uh, AI cleaning tool do you use? I don't. I, I, it's go to. Oh, uh, you use uh, Adobe Enhance. I use Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs has a lot of very cool stuff in it now. Rosa deserves the immortality he seeks. Indeed, I do. So what what they should have done is take voice clips from William Hartnell. Clean them up again. AI has a uh, was it uh, has uh, Eleven Labs has tools that you can do that, right? And then clone the voice. Um, yeah, and then then it it, it would have worked so much better because, like, you know, you, you can hear it when it when it goes between the different you know soundtracks. He shall have it. Do like the music there where, where, it, where it gets zapped into stone. You know, they, 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 one of the unmade Doctor Who movie scripts from the 90s, uh, the one that's going to be directed, I think, by Leonard Nimoy. It, there, there's a, there's a, a sequence here where they break into the Tomb of Rathlon, right? And they, and you get, your guy gets turned into stone. And what of you, doctors? Do you claim immortality too? Uh, that's no, 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 my lord. Hmm? Oh, I'm so sorry. I suddenly realised what the old proverb meant: to lose is to win, and he who wins shall lose. It was all part of Rassilon's trap to find out who wanted immortality and put him out of the way. Reassuring to know that my future is in safe hands. <laughs> yeah, again. Uncanny Valley says, Connor, you're right. You are right. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know, it's frustrating to me because I know it could be done better, right? Speaking of things, could be done better. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Man, whizzing through things tonight. There we go. The crimes, the top 10 crimes of Doctor Who, right? 10 things that must never happen in Doctor Who. American Doctor, fundamentally disagree with that. I do fundamentally disagree with that. Let's see what they go. Release an entire season at once. Oh, man, I wish they did that with shooting. Okay, listen. One of the many, 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 many mistakes they made with the current era, other than making it queer, was um, the rollout, right? The, 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 like, it was available at midnight in England on iPlayer, and then it was at 7 o'clock or whatever time on BBC. Uh, dumb, dumb, dumb idea, right? It should have dropped at 7 o'clock on BBC, and iPlayer and Disney Plus simultaneously, you would have had a global watch along. I mean, if it wasn't shit, you would have had global watch alongs, right? And people, it would have been huge. But Disney only releases stuff on Fridays and th and Wednesday, so or Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like it's the dumbest thing, right? It was the dumbest thing. Uh, season one midnight release strategy was controversial to fans and a total failure. Who didn't want to stay up late night to uh, and avoid spoilers? Well, it's good for me because I, I I saw it as soon as Sabbath came out. Bad for me because I saw it as soon as Sabbath came out. I saw it, you know. Uh, who didn't wait up um, to stay up to avoid spoilers? Where's, where's Christmas this year? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. 
December 25th, 2024. What day is that on? It, uh, what day is Christmas this year? It is Wednesday. Fine. Uh, so I'll be able to watch it live. There you go. Which, again, I'm not overly excited about. But yeah, what can you do? Doink. Uh, da, da, da. What are we up to? Uh, and in fact, the UK audience uh, felt like being uh, treated like second class citizens because they were. But look, but look on the bright side. Imagine a whole season drops on iPlayer and Disney in One Go. While the binge watch strategy was well, a sitcom with a miniseries, it doesn't work for Doctor Who. Well, the point of Doctor Who is you have a different set- setting each story, right? Essentially, uh, every episode is a unique adventure taking place. Well, yeah, that, that you know what really highlighted how dumb it was to put. Uh, that how non binge washable it was putting the devil's cord and space babies out at the same time. Well, uh, binge watching strategy works really well for sitcoms and miniseries. It just doesn't work for Doctor Who. Every episode is a unique adventure taking place in a completely new location with almost uh, entirely new cast. Each episode of Doctor Who is a mini movie uh, to be savored. I mean, not episode story, I would say. Uh, if we got the Doctor as one chunk of eight episodes, the temptation would be to skip the filler episode. No, no, it wouldn't. I mean, like, I, the temptation would be to skip all of it, frankly. Uh, episodes that go straight to the finale. Why? Were you an imbecile? Midnight release of single episodes wasn't the most, uh, wasn't the most ideal change, no. But at least it ensured that everyone was on the same page week to week. Yeah, it's... It, okay. So it wasn't as shitty as it could have been, so it, therefore it's good. No, it, shitty is shitty, mate. Uh, releasing all season one, go, however, would be a disaster for the show. I bet they're going to do that with season two. <laughs> I bet, like, they're just dumb, right? They're just dumb. Enter the Doctorverse. Well, uh, I thought, I was I was up for, like, the whole uh, Hooniverse, right? I thought that would be really cool. And it's just so corporate and boring. I mean, what, why didn't they make that Hooniverse logo based around the Tom Baker tunnel, like, or some kind of time tunnel? But uh, no, no, we just got to make like every other boring piece of shit. Doctor is now part of the Walt Disney Corporation. Not much for long, not for long, right? Which means, uh, which loves mining and intellectual property for all it's worth. David Tennant's 14th Doctor may be having lunch in, uh, in his garden, but that doesn't mean he won't answer a call from the uh, Mickey Mouse a few years down the line. He won't answer a call because Mickey Mouse isn't calling. That probably the only way to keep, I hadn't thought this before. Probably the only way to keep Disney on board will be to bring David Tennant back for an extended period, right? That I can't see them wanting to sign up for anything less, right? Frankly, and even that I don't, I don't know. Uh, on top of that, by Jerry has apparently created a Doctor Verse where the old Doctors also by Jerry and can continue to have adventures. And yeah, the thing, the only thing is. That's nothing to do with the tales from the TARDIS. It, that's all like remembered TARDIS stuff, right? It's nothing to do with by generation of them all waking up at a different time. The risk is here uh, that the show could start to get way too complicated for its own good. It already has done. By generation fucked it, right? By generation fucked it in the ass. Uh, even uh, uh, even more than it arguably is. The idea that the Doctor multiverse, where every regeneration is a bi-generation and the past Doctors grow old in separate timelines. Oh, fuck me. Uh, but this is exactly what they did. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You're like, this will be bad when they did that. This is what they did, though. Uh, uh, okay. Not only uh, will getting to uh, getting to Doctory woke, uh, a Doctory Watery ri- uh, risk alienating casual viewers. You don't have any casual viewers anymore. They think you're shit. Uh, even the mighty MCU wasn't immune to the effects of convoluted multiverse saga. No, it wasn't immune to the effect of uh, uh, hating white straight people, right? Uh, that's what it wasn't immune to the effect of, which is why they fired all their woke producers. Well, what does woke mean anyway? Do you have a P45? means it's you, right? But going too far into the Doctorverse will destroy the uh, finality and power of regeneration. You've already done that. I'm sorry, you've already, yeah, you've already done that. You've fucked it over. Right by uh, by all means, find those pockets of time to have new adventures with past doctors. Eleven uh, uh, centuries on Trenzalore, for example. Okay, go away, go away. Uh, yeah, it was about it. I love these. These are things that must never happen. Which 
probably will happen. The Doctor is a god. Well, I don't like saying the word a god because I believe God to be infinite, which means the God is the only thing, right? There's only one God, and that's it, and the only thing is God, right? Because everything is part of uh, of an infinite. Uh, Doctor has flirted with the idea of revealing that our protagonist is, is some all powerful godlike being, but it always pulls back from at the brink. Uh, yes, yeah, pretty true. The 80s script editor Adam Cartmel always said the Doctor was going to be something more than a Time Lord. But the show was cancelled before it could be done any further. Well, you, fuck, where, have you ever heard of Lung Barrow? Hang on. Doctor Who Lung Barrow. I, I don't know why Big Finish haven't made, made, made an adaptation of this as yet. Images. Let me see if I get the cover. Oh, they got the Daryl Joyce cover. That was it. Once we get the, let's make it a little bit bigger. Make it bigger, baby. You know you want it. <laughs> uh, one second. Copy image. Was it copy image address? I go over here. Oh uh, yeah, this is a. Oh, that's a shame, man. Can I help zoom in on that? There you go. Uh, yeah, this uh, this took place in the Doctor's you know ancestral home, uh, and it like wrapped up the whole Andrew Cartmel uh, um, arc, All right? And I think I think it did did it quite well. Is the uh, this is the cover for the original novel? Again, I'm just amazed Big Finish haven't made a. Uh, 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 what's it called again? A uh, adaptation of this one, All right? This this will seem to be the most important one to make an ad adaptation of, right? Yeah, this is the Doctor visiting his ancestral home, and then let's find the. Oh yeah, this is the this is the alternate cover. Uh, again, was it? Oh, this is on DeviantArt. Where's, there's one by. Where is it? Uh, oh, here it is. Daryl Joyce, right? Another uh, Daryl Joyce one. It is Daryl Joyce, isn't it? I don't want to give, give, give the wrong uh, um, Andrew Cartman, blah, 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 blah. Novelization. Um, yeah, these are, great, yeah, these are great images. But are they by, is it by Daryl Joyce? The Looms? First TARDIS interior? Anyway, yeah, that was his uh, uh, faux... Uh, um, Cover, yeah, that that uh, uh, that he did. I think he did an excellent job. I'm I'm always positive it's it's Daryl Joyce, right? Uh, Decker, the Christian, well, stole all the ideas, put uh, put them together in the in the wrong way, and it didn't really work. Real the China stars are preferred to the genetic building material. That was bullshit and shit, and we hated it. Uh, Decanalized Doctor Who, essentially. If the Doctor was revealed to be some all powerful deity, it would ruin the relationship with the character. Yes, we know. We tried to tell Chris Chibnall, he wouldn't listen. Nobody can relate to Superman, but they can uh, get on board with the shy, secretive everyman, Clark Kent. The Doctor has always been Clark Kent, uh, but rarely uh, been... Okay, this is weird. I don't think... I'm not sure if I, if I agree with this. Yes, the Doctor is a tunnel being, wandering the cosmos and, answer, and answering the prayers of those in need. Not really. However, the Doctor has always gone out of his way to uh, the goodness. That's why Peter Capaldi... Uh, idiot in a box who helps people because it's kind. Yeah, uh, exactly. Right? An actual ending. The thing that must never happen. Um, yeah, I tend to agree with them, actually. Yeah, I think it would be a bad idea. To, you know, your doctor is the sort of thing you want to say can go on and on and on and on and on. Um, it's, we've all been very disappointed when the beloved TV show gets revived and is and, uh, completely und uh, undoes the perfect ending. Uh, thankfully, Doctor Who would ever do this because there's no definitive ending for the show, uh, show's premise. Yeah, uh, that's fair enough. Yeah, I think it would be a bad idea to have a definitive ending. Or would it? I mean, I don't know. There was, uh, uh, you know, when the BBC books took over from Virgin Publishing in the 90s, right, they had a whole, like, future history cycle of the Doctor where it started off with alien bodies where somebody was auctioning off the Doctor's body having uh, been killed in some massive time war, right? And it's full of all this bio data, and there's all these different factions that want it. It was intimated as being sold by the meddling monk. It was really good, right? 
Uh, barring extreme circumstances, the Doctor can't die and instead regenerates into something else uh, who takes off in a brand new venture. The Doctor isn't on some quest that will clearly define end point uh, where the companions leave. They just uh, go somewhere else and pick up new ones. Okay, well, the Doctor was taken off air in 89. Decision came so late that no clear ending was written. And yeah, they basically wrote it on the back of a, of a fag packet, right, In uh, uh, as a voiceover. And honestly... It worked, right? It was a really good capstone to the the, the classic era, I think. Uh, whether Doctor Who comes to an end next year or decades down the line, the ending has to be open ended. And I tend to agree. As long as the viewers don't know that the Doctor and the Tardis, I know the Doctor and Sister, the adventures can continue forever, right? The Doctor and Master uh, being related. Well, that was the original plan, wasn't it? That they would show uh, be, be shown to be uh, brothers. Right. If they did that now, they would be lovers. Right. They, 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 yes. If Shooting Gatwa had the mark, but uh, brought the master, they would be ex-lovers. Right. Um, because that's just the only thing they know how to do. It really is the only thing they know how to do. Uh, do, do, do. I'll be able to watch it live just because you can do so. It doesn't mean you should. Yes. That was that was uh, uh, the the um, the president of the Federation speech in Star Trek VI, right, as he's getting ready to be assassinated by uh, the, the Klingons and the, uh, you know, the, uh, was it, Isolationist uh, Federation. The, it, what was it? Kurtwood Smith, wasn't it? Yeah. The guy from that 70s, the father in that 70s show when he was in Robocop. Can you fly, Bobby? That guy, right? Uh, um, yeah, he said, just because we can do a thing doesn't mean we must do a thing, right? Uh, Heroes Evil Brothers uh, is one of the film and television's most tiresome and overused cliches. It, it was much better in, in the 19th century. <laughs> Spock has an evil brother. Well, no, he wasn't really evil. Thor has an evil brother. Well, again, in the 60s, it was a bit cooler. Stephen Moffat even gave Sherlock a, uh, an evil sister. Well, it, that was kind of in Sherlock uh, Holmes and Law as well. Well, the Doctor hasn't joined in with the likes of Marvel and Sherlock. It's not for the lack of trying. If Roger Delgado hadn't tragically died, John Pertwee's final story will reveal that, if not brothers, the Doctor and Master were two sides of the same coin. I'm telling you, if they did with Shooty Gatwa, they would have been sucking dick, each other's dick in the Academy, right? And they will probably have extended scenes of that. Uh, and then, yeah, people will go, well, what, what's, what's uh, uh, overtly sexual about that? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, a decade later, Planet of Fire teaser uh, Davison's Doctor and anti Alien. Uh, and Ailey could be brothers and decide that after, uh, after that, an early draft of the 96 movie was revealed that Doctor and Master were seeking uh, their missing father, Ulysses. Well, that's actually, I kind of like that plan. Man, I really wish that... It's, that's something I would do with the AI, right? I would make a, a few episodes of the 1990s Doctor Who with Paul McGann that we never saw. <laughs> I would, that, that's something if AI came about. I would 100% do that, right? Uh, the Wiggle Room could easily be... Oh, the Rusty Davis scoffed at the siblings' idea at the sounds of drum, but he didn't uh, d definitively dismiss it either. I did like, like kind of like the way he did that, by the way. Uh, the Wiggle Room could be exploited by a future Doctor and showrunner. <sighs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't think... Look, I think you can pretty much do anything as long as it's good. Retirement of the Daleks. Yeah, well, that hasn't worked out so well this year, has it? Um, so I just got a message. Fine. Uh, well, I'm out of now, now, now I've lost my place. As much as we grow over and being overused, none of us want to see the Daleks retire forever, do we? I don't, I don't think we're seeing the Daleks in uh, Suit Shooty Season 2. Right? I, I I will be surprised. I, may, I don't know. If it wasn't on the Daleks, we wouldn't have Doctor Who as we know it. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it wouldn't have made it. Without the Daleks, it wouldn't have made it to its second block, I think. In many ways, the Daleks are more famous than any of the actors who played the Doctor over the past six months. Yeah, yeah look, we, we read in the article last night that to the normie, the Daleks is Doctor Who, right? It's, it, they're, they're indivisible, right? They had their own movie franchise in the 60s. They had two movies. I guess it's a franchise. Uh, with the names of Dawning Post. Well, the 60s was a huge, right? More recently, they started, oh, yeah, with, with uh, Daffy Duck and Batman and Looney Tunes back in action. Then the, yeah, no, that's just they're just being silly, right? Quite simply, Doctor Who needs the Daleks. I tend to agree, right? I tend to agree. 
Uh, and I think having a Dalek episode a year, was that too much? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 it didn't really bother me, the balance, right? As long as the stories are good, right? That's, that's the bottom line. Change the TARDIS on police box. Now, I, I accidentally started a rumor that that would be happening when Black Lives Matter was, was it must be 2020, when Black Lives Matter, no, 2019, or was it 2020? Black Lives Matter was 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 really going strong, and, and you know, they kept denigrating the cops. Um, I said they're going to have to, they, I, I, I speculated they will remove the word police box or get rid of the police box completely. Uh, and um, raise something else because of the bad association because they do woke stupid ideas like that a lot, right? Yes, they do. Uh, nothing taps into the fundamental appeal, Doctor. You quite like the image of the quaint Brit British police box standing in the alien landscape. I tend to agree, right? I tend now, here's a question if you did an American version of Doctor Who, what would you do instead of a police box, right? I don't know. Mm, that's interesting. A portaloo? I don't know. It's like, like a um, like a phone booth from the, no. I, I, I have to think about that. I you know I I, I don't know, right? I don't know. Okay, I have to think about. It. I really don't know. I'm, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll have an answer by Tuesday. So, why in the original pitch document, uh, Doctor Who emphasised the need for Tars to disguise itself as something every day? Well, so it'll be cheap to make. <clears throat> Sidney Newman didn't want Doctor Who to be like every other sci-fi show by getting um, by settling on a police box. They established it, its own unique uh, iconography. Yeah, and again, it's one of those ideas that just worked, right? The uh, Doctor Who isn't Star Trek. It doesn't have a sleek, sterile spaceship. Well, the first uh, uh, Tardis, uh, console room was sleek and sterile, right? Much like the current one, which is sleek, sterile, somewhat shit, I would say. It's never, it, it's, uh, it's never been its deal. It's been, well, it is now, uh, and it's been a show that combines the humdrum with the ordinary battery power police box a battle of police box that can travel anywhere in time and space. Well, again, that's not what it was like when it started. And you can tell that's not what it's like with Shooter's Doctor either. And the changing TARDIS into an elaborate time machine, like Dreamed, Dreamed Up H.E. Wells, would take the Doctor, who's round shackled charm. I tend to agree, right? It, it, they, 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 yeah. Now the TARDIS is somewhat indivisible. Reveal the Doctor's name. Yeah, that would just be stupid, right? It, 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 be, it should be something incomprehensible. Right? He should be mysterious. Uh, of course, Stephen Moffat was never going to tell us the name of the Doctor with the, with the episode, I guess, the name of the Doctor. But we all felt a wee twinge of anxiety back in 2013, didn't we? Instead of uh, Moffat constructed a three-episode art that explicitly stated why the Doctor's name, uh, why revealing the Doctor's name was a very bad idea. Oh, right. It would destroy the universe or something. Doctor Who! Right? Doctor, they missed the question at the beginning of the time. Doctor Who. I kind of did, did like that that ending. Uh, where we're up to the the Doctor's name was so powerful that revealing it would uh, would have restarted the time one and destroyed the universe itself. Uh, you don't get a bigger metaphor than that because let's face it, if Doctor Who ever did tell us the name of the Doctor, it would collapse the central premise of the show, which they're doing anyway by making it like just too mundane. Doctor Who was always a question hinted at the character's mysterious nature. Uh, the uh, uh, the Doctor was an unknowable alien time travel time traveler, and this mystique would have been severely hampered if they turned out to be called Bride or Nigel. <laughs> uh, that's a fair point. Uh, worse still, what if somebody uh, uh, was it attributed the convoluted alien name to the Doctor? Emphasize he's not one of us. Ramanda's full name is Ramanda. Uh, Ramanda. Uh, Votralonda, right? It's a joke. It's a very Douglas Adams, uh, Adams in joke. That is very nice. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a name that we probably wouldn't have to understand. We wouldn't be able to understand, right? Doctor's name is a promise. Ah, it just seems like it, you know, shoehorn things in. An American doctor. Now, I've always said I would love to see an American version of Doctor Who, right? I like its own thing. Uh, Nerd Roderick came up with the idea that P Peter Dinklage. As a doctor, which I thought that's that, that's really cool. But again, what would you have? Maybe a jukebox. Maybe a jukebox. Oh, yes. That works, doesn't it? 
American Doctor is in a you know is in a 1960s jukebox, right? Um, I think that actually kind of works. I think I think that 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 fits into like you know really the bonkersness of what Doctor would be. The 1966 movie uh, is probably the only time an American stars like Jeff Goldblum was seriously considered playing Doctor. They wasn't seriously considered. Yeah, one second. Do I have this video? Let me try and find it. Doctor Who USA. Uh, no, no, it's not here. One second. Doctor Who USA. Doctor Who American. American. Oh, here it is. There you go. Here it comes. Uh, do, do, do. Wait, wait, so this is a mock-up of what if Doctor Who was American. Uh, I mean, you must have seen this before. It's really cool. Been in this racket for 50 years. You know what I've done? I have done it all. Without my imagination, I wouldn't have a sense of you. I, I love Dick Van Dyke as the second Doctor. I think that, that's really cool. But I should explain that my presence here could either be termed as circumstantial or the force of destiny. Now then, precisely what is it that you want of me? Again, it's just, uh, again, Gene Wilder, fourth doctor. What uh, really went on between Marilyn Monroe and the Kennedys? And who really pulled the trigger on JFK? I'm telling you, you're in for one big surprise. One. I, I love the idea of Chris walking as a doctor as well. Very big surprise. You were right. I am not human. Listen, I've sized up. Hey, Jeff Goldblum as the doctor. The strength of the enemy forces. Next week, I go for first strike. All out victory. If there's something wrong, those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. We thought the days of losing lives were behind us. That's a, that's a weird version of the 10th Doctor. I, don't know. I ask you now to prepare for war. When the war is over, we can have the luxury of debating the morality of what we do. I support of the war, Doctor, very clever. Do. Oh, never underestimate the power of one man. I know I don't. I've never been spoken to that way before. Well, maybe it's about time. Leave me alone, or I will destroy your whole planet. Anyway, so yeah, I I, I think the idea of American Doctor Who, and um, being a separate thing from it, British Doctor, I think think will be actually uh, uh, pretty good, right? Uh, Divine and Dragon said, uh, so directly, if I'm not mistaken, please talk to the originated in America in the 19th century. I did not know that. What fell out used in the 1920s, but by then they were transplanted successfully to the UK. I still prefer a, a jukebox, honestly. It just, it feels like it's got to be I think, iconically American. Well, in, in the same way the police box is iconically uh, uh, British, right? Ah, uh, it's a moot point. Anyway. Uh, was there was it was fairly adamant that they need a British actor to play the role. Doctor Who is an iconic fictional character uh, that is uh, inextricably linked to the UK. I, I, now it is, I agree with you. As with James Bond and Sherlock Holmes, all three of these characters, uh, for good or ill, are influenced by uh, by British culture and have done a lot uh, to influence themselves. That's very true. An American playing the Doctor brings a completely new set of cultural stylings to the character. As I said, let, like, make it a, its own series. That sounds really fun. Uh, American playing it brings its own cultural stylings and, and would dilute its homespun child. An American Doctor will potentially bigger, brasher, louder. No, not necessarily. Elements that clash with the Doctor's default. Okay, I, no, I disagree. I disagree. Uh, but I would not let like see an American doctor in the, um, uh, you know, in the in the BBC run. Doctor Ball back with AI or CGI? Totally disagree. Totally and fundamentally disagree with this guy. Why not? I mean, we would have done better than uh, uh, any of this stuff, but I, we were just watching it. Totally disagree. I think it's a great idea. You know, I, I, something, one of the many things I didn't like about the 60th anniversary, uh, sorry, the giggle, which was the best of the three, but what was the lack of connection to the history of Doctor Who, right? Now, now, you know, and then when Shuli arrives, they were just interested in connecting it to the history of Doctor Who. 
Well, that bit at the end where they're playing a game of ball with the uh, with the toy maker, they could have done something like you know they they, they keep he keeps his because he by generated it's unstable and suddenly boom he turns into Troughton and then boom he turns into you know uh, uh, Peter Davison's doctor right and do that with CGI and AI absolutely do that why not. Like, why not at all? I mean, like, yeah, aside from the eth- huge ethical issues, that I don't see the ethical issue. Uh, none of us need to see a janky, twitching CGI zombie doc. Well, I'm sorry, it's done better than that now. Uh, if old docs are returned, do it the right way. We've got the likes of David Bradley and Sean Pertwee. Again, look, we just watched, uh, um, uh, uh, what was it, AI version of uh, 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 William Hartnell in... Uh, in Doctor Who, right? We just, we we literally just watched it, right? Uh, and I think I think I think it, I think it worked worked pretty well. Having said that, I would like to see Sean Pertwee play, play the third Doctor, uh, and I you know I like to see uh, uh, Stephen Noonan play play the first Doctor. I think he he generally speaking quite nails it. My name's Peter Beck, and the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!